yeah, I quite like this show. I wonder if anyone ever tried to make a game out of this. I, I might be onto something. Let me see. Squid game! You don't want to die now. No, I'm smart. If you've been living Well, there goes that plan. Yeah, you didn't think that I would give up that easily, right? I know that I'm really late to this trend. My smooth brain did not think about, hey, Squid Game, a show that literally everyone watches and a ton of people look up, could actually be made into an actual game. But you know what? I'm still gonna make a game out of this. Now, since I'm pretty late to this trend, I will have to think about some sort of a twist. I need to make this interesting and stand out between the literal thousands. So yeah, I turned Squid Game into an online FPS. We've got like 5 days to make this. Because of that, I'm literally just gonna take the final project of our FPS course. Since you know it's it's an FPS already and it's it has everything online built in already. Oh, oh, wait, did you just ask? What FPS course? Oh, I'm glad you asked! With this course, you will be enabled to build games such as Call of Duty Zombies, Left 4 Dead, or any type of FPS or Horde type game. Hi, I'm Dennis Panyuta. I'm a programming educator with more than 8 years of experience and over 200,000 students already, and have built multiple different programming courses that led my students to succeeding as a developer. While I've done it for a while, I have a team now that helps me out to make even better courses. And this course was built with my team, consisting of Mobazem and Jafar J, who worked hard on preparing the game, breaking it down so that it's easy to consume as a course, and then also recorded it along with me. Hello guys, my name is Mo and I will be your co-instructor along with Dennis. I've been developing video games since 2014 and I'm very happy to have this opportunity to share my knowledge with you. I hope that you will learn a lot from this course, and hey, I'll see you in the Q&A. And this guy right here is me, Jafak Jade, tutor and content guy at Tutorial CU. I was the main dev for this course's game and used my knowledge from previous titles I worked in, like Welcome to Liberty C, which you can go and download right now, by the way, to bring you guys the best learning experience possible. Together with Mo and Jafar, we developed a guided system that will make sure that you will become a game developer that can build first-person shooters from scratch. After this course, you will be able to set up a PvE game, so a player versus enemy game, then use Photons Pun 2 in order to make it an online game, build your own game maps, implement touch controls so that you can export the game for mobile devices and play them on there and also make them available to other players out there. Learn how to sync everything over a network so that the game works flawlessly, multiplayer with multiple different players at the same time. And then learn to adopt a single player game into a multiplayer game. So if you have built a single player game in the past, now you can go ahead and add a multiplayer game functionality to it so that it can be played by multiple people at the same time. And of course, you're going to learn a lot more. So check out the curriculum to find out more about the details of this course. Being a game developer is the new cool. Do it as a hobby or as a programmer, as a profession, so to speak, or even as a business. Make your own games and sell them online. The possibilities are endless and we will be there to help you do your first steps. And don't forget that all of our courses have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So in case you realize that the course is not right for you, then you can give it back within those 30 days, no questions asked. And you get your money back, of course. So don't hesitate any longer. Get the course now and become a multiplayer game developer. We're really looking forward to seeing you in the course. i leave you to watch the rest of the video now. I started changing the UI, main menu to be specific, because I wanted to like get the actual Squid Game feel. So I went to this page, fontmeme.com, would you look at that? And we've got Glove Game. 
Now I needed a map. This map wasn't gonna cut it because it didn't look anything like the red light green light map and didn't really have any type of references or whatever to it. So I had to think about a new kind of map, but using preferably this building blocks that we already have here. And that's what I made. Using the same pieces and the same logic, I just built a rectangular map. Got a clock, a place for the guy that's gonna be shooting, and a starting zone for all the players. They'll be running this entire thing. Oh yeah, and uh, funny reference. I took like the squid game figures thingies and kind of tried to make a glug out of it, but I don't even know what this looks like. But yeah, with all the spawners set up, I had a functional map. Great, now I needed the player. This is the original character for the FPS course, but it's not really fitting to our Squid Game kind of thing, so quick change on that. And there we go, this looks already way more fitting to what we need. Still a bot, yeah, but at least the colors match. Now we need to make him spawn. Spawn system should be pretty straightforward. Foreshadowing. Okay, game start. Where's this guy? What? 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 How? How did, how, how did you get up here? Yep, okay, that's what I wanted to see. And would you look at that? Even multiplayer is working. Next step, we need to make the game start. So how does this work? The idea is gonna be that one of the players is going to be randomly chosen to take the place of the doll. The idea here is that, that the one that created this game is going to be able to come up here, press E, just like this here says, one of them should turn into the shooter. Hey, seems about right. Now, one of the players is going to stand here. But how are we gonna make this fair? Are we going to just trust the player to, to actually shoot one of the other players only if he sees them moving? No, we can't do that. No, everyone lies. So we're gonna program it in. Easy enough. If you don't move, you're invisible. But as soon as you move, you actually become visible. And it's at that point where the shooter can actually use the opportunity to end you. Next thing I needed was to add an actual gun that could see that far because the players will be coming from all the way back there and we are like just here and this gun can't really see that far. So say hi to my new sniper rifle if you i don't know like want a tutorial on this just let me know i'm i'm i don't mind okay but how do i actually make the decision to choose who actually wins you know there is the possibility that several people get all the way here and yes we did actually think about that and it is pretty much fully covered by the code if finish line true Player what red light green light one true <laughs> masterly done anyways uh, we'll see about that i guess for now let's add a bit of sound and flair and all that because right now it feels kind of bland oh this is amazing red light green light this is just what i wanted and I even get an mp3 file just like that? Subscribe right now OS. I like her. After that, I added some visual effects using Unity's particle system. Let's see how it feels like now. Red light, green light. Game start. Green light. Red light. Green light. Great, what if you win though? What if you actually manage to get to the finish line? We need some sort of a congratulations message, right? Kind of feel like there's something of Yeah. That's more like it. Oh yeah, also, I've got hands now. My UI looks a bit better. Okay, now I need some way to actually have a game where only one person wins. Some sort of a last game 
like the one in Squid Game. So think of a Squid Game FPS kind of thing where then players f fight each other until only one survives and the game ends. But what could that be in an FPS? Yeah, so I just made a PvP everyone fights everyone kind of thing and that's it. Find the player, shoot him. And yeah, you won. Congrats. But there's one thing missing, some nice music. For that to happen, I hit up my old friend, Google. God, I wish I had someone they could ask for music. Yeah. So yeah, thank you, Carl Casey at White Bed Audio, for this amazing piece of Doom style industrial metal tone flesh variety free no copyright background music. There you have my like. And with that done, this is the final result. Enjoy. I guess. <laughs> So yeah, now I basically just need some beta testers, so if you download the game and play it a while with your friends or record it and upload it somewhere, send me a link, post it in the comments and let me know what you thought of it. Anything good, anything broken, anything fixable, is it just an absolute mess? Let me know. You know what actually would be fun? We may actually make some sort of an event you know just get some of, of you guys together and play some games like these games can go up to 20 players so that could be fun make sure to stay up to date on our discord server and well actually join if you haven't yet and let me know in the comments if you actually would want that because i think it would be nice okay for now though let's get some friends together like i need around 20 people i've got around 20 friends let's let's call them up real quick and And with this, congratulations, you somehow watched the entire video. You know what that means, you liked actually what you watched. So scroll down right now, click on like and comment down below why my game is absolutely horrifyingly bad. Oh good, I mean if you actually liked it, I hope so. Now, like I already said down below, you'll find the links to the itch.io page, to the maybe future steam page and whatever else link I probably threw in there. Like the FPS scores for example. And actually, you know what? Up here, or here, uh, you'll find a link to our specialized Unity channel. We already started to upload a ton of Unity related tutorials, including in the near future, the FPS tutorial that this project comes from. That means that if you want to actually make 
whatever I did in this video, you'll be able to just grab that project and start working from there just like I did. And with that, that's it for this video. Make sure to click on this link right about now. Just literally cut me off with by clicking this link. Oh, wait, you're still here? Okay, maps. I guess. Okay, that's fine actually. You know what? Let's make la like a little inside joke kind of thing. Scroll down right now and comment and just literally just comment a squid and a gun emoji. You know, squid, clock, squid game, clock game. Guess that would be funny. I'd be waiting on that one. Bye.